Ranked by Canadian Business Magazine as the seventh most powerful Canadian in Hollywood, Avril Lavigne is not into labels. I always hate when I get labeled punk or whatever because I'm not. And I've never, you know, claimed to be punk, but um, whatever. Um, I always just found it really hard when I came out that people would label me because I'm like, why are you doing that? Like, I'm a person. You can't label people, like, give them one word and say this is what you are. It seems that few people have been inclined to disagree with a wild child rocker whose 2002 debut album Let Go sold over 17 million copies. Two years later, on the eve of the release of her second album, Under My Skin, she agreed that she'd been given a pretty free hand when growing up. Some people are told kind of like how to act, what to wear, what they can and can't sing. And I've never been in that situation. I've always done what I wanted to. And that's, you know, I have a lot of say in everything. So I'm pretty lucky that way. She'd begun singing church songs at the age of two with her mother, who quickly realized she had a child prodigy on her hands. At the age of 14, she won a competition to sing with Shania Twain. And four years later, her debut single, Complicated, went to number two on the Billboard Hot 100. After Under My Skin, it took her another three years to get round to releasing her third album, The Best Damn Thing, which went straight to number one in the US. Because I write my songs, it takes much longer for me to work on my album. And then I took my time with the album. I didn't want to rush it out. I wanted to make sure that it was really good. That was important for me. In the interim, she'd also found the time to appear in several movies and marry some 41 frontman Derek Quibley. I don't feel like marriage has really changed me that much. I mean, just personally, in my personal life, I'm really happy. Despite the fact that several gossip sites and blogs have labelled her a brat for always getting her own way, Avril insists she's kept some humility. Me being a girl from Canada, and it's like all over South America and all over Asia and all over Europe, everyone knows me, and, it's, and I have a huge following, and that's pretty, pretty amazing. It's a very special thing. <laughs>